adaptation of the classic Cinderella fairy tale will soon open at Paper Mill. We'll talk to Margot Cyber, James Snyder and the cast and creative team about bringing the 1998 film to the stage. So this isn't your normal Cinderella, is it? This is not even close to your normal Cinderella. I think we like to think of it if, if someone had told Cinderella the way it actually happened in real life, in a sense. She's a much more empowered young lady. Um, you know, she's a sword fighter, for one thing. Uh, based on the movie Ever After, which is very, 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 very popular. So um, it's, it's a lot more spunky. It almost has like a historical kind of feel, like it really kind of could have existed, you know? It's Cinderella without the magic, without the mice, without the pumpkin, without the fairy godmother. It's Cinderella sans the magic in, in the sense that this is like a really strong girl who is well-educated by her father growing up and she's a real spunky character, so she kind of makes things happen, you know, of course with the help of others, but, you know, she's kind of at the forefront of it. And there's great, you know, female empowerment. You know, our Cinderella, Danielle, um, the character of Danielle, is a pretty feisty, strong-willed woman who um, doesn't feel it's right to be, you know, considered a peasant, and that love should be bigger than that. The clouds will finally fall away. what could be the true story behind the sort of legend and myth of Cinderella? What, 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 what is the true story that inspired that fairy tale? So it's about a young girl named Danielle who's lost her mother and her father and is now living with her stepmother and stepsisters. And, but she's basically a servant in her own home. What's been fun about the rehearsal process so far? Well, it's always great working with Kathleen Marshall, who's, who's the, she's just awesome and, and she's so sweet. And the writers are fantastic. Um, getting to know Margot Seibert has been amazing. She's just a brilliant actress. Finally, what do you hope audiences take away with them from this show? Well, one, I do like the idea that it's girl power. That's number one. And number two, that they've seen something really about what family is all about, what love is all about, that, that a fairy tale doesn't necessarily have to be sappy. It can be realistic and gritty, but very, very um, moving. There's so much, there's sword fighting, there's dancing, there's, there's so many thrilling things, but I hope that, you know, young women can take away that they can, you know, they can be this kind of spunky character as well. It's really, it's the feminist Cinderella, which I love. And it's not a girl waiting around for her Prince Charming, it's a girl who's an intellectual match, who challenges the ideology of the prince, and I think is gonna be so great for this young generation to grow up with this show. Really when you think about it, really when you 